Hello everyone, Lawrence here. Today I wanted to talk about The Flash, Season 1, Episode 4, Going Rogue. Now this episode takes a darker turn. There is noticeably more conflict within the team. So, what happens? Felicity Smoke from Arrow visits Central City, visits Barry and Star Labs. Uh, you don't need to watch Arrow too much to understand what's happening. They put in dialogue to set up the backstory. Meanwhile, this criminal, Leonard Snart, steals a cold gun from Star Labs made by Cisco to defeat the Flash and commit numerous crimes, including killing people. This leads to Barry getting really mad at Cisco for not telling anybody. Harrison Wells also gets mad, which is at first like he's yelling. And so they have to resolve their conflicts within the team and also figure out a way to stop this new bad guy. Uh, so, this is the first time that you do see a legitimate fight between characters in the show. You see Barry mad at someone, which shows a new side, but it still shows that he's caring because he's not, he's less mad at the fact that he could have been killed by Cisco's creation, but more at the fact that because of it, because he hid that secret, a man died. He wasn't ready. Which is a very understandable reason to get mad. And Cisco, it is understandable why he built it. He says so that he didn't know Barry. He was worried that he could have been another crazy metahuman. Then, yeah, he was. He turned out good. But he still never brought it up. Uh, Felicity is there to consult Barry and she's still nice about it but she does tell him that for her team back on Arrow it did take a while for them to trust each other so she's not saying that Barry is necessarily wrong but she's trying to get him to understand where Cisco is coming from so towards the end Leonard Snart gets on a train supposedly to escape but when the Flash gets there, he derails the train with the cold gun. And it turns out it's part of a plan where the Flash would be too busy saving people rather than trying to catch Snart. So he does what he can. He saves everyone. But then Leonard shoots him with the cold gun and he's stuck. He had shut off his communication so he doesn't have help from Star Labs. But Felicity is able to convince the others to go out and help anyway. So Cisco brings out a prototype cold gun, makes Captain Cold leave and keep Barry alive. Though it turns out it's just a vacuum cleaner. And all is good. What is really good is that even when there is an argument, a massive conflict within this newfound family, they still figure out a nice optimistic way to resolve it it's still very wholesome but it does acknowledge the darker fact that there are deaths and mistrust uh what else happens uh, there's a romantic plot line between barry and felicity they're both talkative nerds even iris acknowledges it which is ironic <laughs> uh at the end he says goodbye to her while on the train leaving and they kiss, but they also acknowledge that they're too busy with their own love interests to be there for each other. Uh, so, I think trust is basically the premise of this episode. Because you can also see on the villain side, Captain Cold, Leonard Snart, and his crew of criminals. When his employees start losing trust in him because he's obsessed with defeating the Flash. They leave him, and one of them even gets shot. This other guy, he's the one that provided Snart with a cold gun along with another weapon, a fire gun of sorts. And since no one else knew about the deal, there was no one else, Snart shoots him with the cold gun so he gets it for free. So you can't see the difference between the good guys and the bad guys on the show. For the good guys, 
they have people that they can trust, they can rely on. The bad guys, not so much. Overall, still a good episode. Shows that there will be problems within the team with people, even the best of people, with each other because various problems can come up. But there is always a way to reconcile, to reconnect, and to fight the true evil in the end. Uh, oh, can't wait to talk about the next episode once again. See you soon.